Hi everyone, it's Pamela Pace at Purely Pam on YouTube. Hey, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so. Uh, today, listen, today I'm going to do some cooking and I am going to show you my interpretation of, of a an Americanized chicken piccata. Learning, doing a little research on chicken piccata, I learned it's not really an Italian dish. I'm getting ready to go next year to Italy with a group of friends from here in Sun City Anthem. So I'm gonna see if my interpretation of chicken piccata comes anywhere close to chicken piccata in Italy. This is what we're gonna do today is make chicken piccata. Bear with me and you'll see the whole thing from The start. ingredients you're going to need for this dish are all right here on the table, on the counter. You're gonna need lemons. It takes about a half a cup of, of lemon juice. So lemons, butter, unsalted. You want it unsalted butter because of all the other things that's going to be going into it. You want uh, extra virgin olive oil, Marzetta capers. They don't have to be Marzetta, but you do need capers. I got two nice size chicken breasts right there. They will be um, cut in half. Parmesan cheese. This should be a little more grated. I don't have the super grated, but Parmesan cheese, flour, and of course, what Italian dish is worthy of anything, garlic. Okay, whenever you're dealing with chicken, you wanna be really careful. You wanna be very sanitary. Chicken is one of those things. You wanna make sure you clean it good before you do anything with it, clean it well. And now I'm going to butterfly this. I'm gonna cut this. You can see it's a pretty large chicken breast. I'm gonna cut that in half. You'll have two little cutlets, and that's what you're wanting is the cutlets for chicken piccata. So I have two sides now, okay? I am using my Pioneer Woman knives. I tell you what, my mom got all of us Pioneer Woman knives. These. Um, $20 knives set, really, at Christmas time. And I'm telling you what, they have been very, very good knives. What we're gonna do now is pound them. We're gonna pound them into little um, smaller cutlets. Now, some people might tell you that you wanna get a piece of wax paper or whatever. This is the way I do it. I put it in a baggie, okay? So I put my flattened out. And it flattens it out into a cutlet, which is what I'm wanting. Okay, now we're going to prepare our coating, our breading for the, I'm doing this, showing you all. But typically, I just go in and get some flour, but we're gonna do it the way that other cooks do it. About a cup. That's gonna be maybe a little too much because you just want you just want them to be dredged. Now, now's when your Parmesan cheese comes in. Everybody see that? Yeah. Put just a little more. Ooh, that smells so good. That Parmesan cheese. Ooh, that's what I'm looking forward to in Italy. <laughs> that kind of smells. Okay, I don't try to speak Italian, so I won't. But I like it to do that every once in a while. Anyway, here we go. Some salt and pepper in there. Put that all. Done. You see what it's like? We're going to dredge that. I coat it on both sides. Okay. We'll do it every one of those get them ready to go. And I'm gonna show you how I do them over in the pan. I'm here at the pan and I'm going to get my pan prepared for putting the chicken in. So it's gonna tell you four tablespoons. I'm gonna show you what I do. Make sense? I don't know. The bottom of the pan is pretty much covered. A very thin layer, bottom of the pan. Now, this is where my southern roots come in because I get to put butter in the pan. I love butter. It's gonna tell you three tablespoons, four tablespoons. I want this to be, I want it to knock your socks off. So, this is what I'm gonna do. Stick of butter, 
Everybody see that? About that much. I got about that much left of that stick of butter. I don't know. Three quarters of a stick. Okay, got that going in there. Very low, very low. Let it let that butter melt in there. Don't don't force it to get fired up. Okay, coming okay, right back. Okay, my butter is all melted. Oh, that looks good. All melted in there. So I'm gonna put all of my chicken in. Place our chicken in the pan. I'm not gonna be able to get all four pieces in there, but I can get three. Now we're gonna turn it up just a hair. And we're gonna let that cook. I'll show you how it's cooking now. It's almost like a fried chicken. Okay, now we're going to get the lemons ready to go into the lemon piccata. Now you always wanna kind of roll your lemons to get all of the juiciness out of them. A kind of a warm up. You're gonna need about a half a cup of lemon juice. Let's say three. I like lemony lemon piccata and Frank loves lemon, so. Okay, we're gonna try to fill that up. Here we go. Oh, that's the nice of juice. <laughs> Talking Italian again. Oh, so num that's some nice of juice. I wanna bring you over and show you what it looks like now. So. I've turned them over first time. You can see what they look like, how they're cooking in there. It's a lot of lemon juice. It's gonna be very lemony. Hey, that's why they call it lemon piccata, right? Okay, we got about all the juice out of those lemons that we're gonna get. I know. Remove your chicken from the fire, from the pan, when it looks about like this. You don't want it to be too dark. You don't want it to be too light. Just a nice brown golden coating to it. I've got one more piece over here frying. Then I'll make the sauce that goes with it. Okay, all of my chicken is out of the pan. I'm gonna put a little bit more butter in here. Um, just because I want a lot of sauce. Okay, so the butter's gone, gone in now. Putting in about a half a cup of Sauvignon Blanc. I'm using Sauvignon Blanc. That's what most um, recipes call for. Any white wine will do, I guess, but this is a... Ooh. And, ah, uh, I live with an Italian. You know how that goes. We like our garlic. And this is one of those dishes that you gotta have garlic in. So there's the garlic. We're gonna stir that around for just a little bit, get it all stirred in there, get all those drippings and droppings and so forth up off of that. Let that all cook together. Told you I had to strain that. I have to strain the lemon juice, so. All of the seeds, and that was a lot of seeds. And, Finally, we're gonna put our capers in. Now, you know, hillbillies don't use a lot of things that people in other parts of the country do. And I learned about capers. And I tell you, once you, once you have something with capers in them, I, I put capers in potato salad. Really gives it a good taste. Anyway, we're putting about a half of a small jar, about a half, of capers in there. Frank and I both like capers, so show you what it looks like here. We're just gonna let it we're gonna let that cook. Okay, the chicken is back in there. I'm going to put the lid on it. And then I'm gonna turn down, really low. I'm gonna let all of those juices cook together. Okay, the mixture's been cooking now probably about five to seven minutes, but you can see how it's thickened up. I did have the lid on it, I just took the lid off of it, but you can see how golden and all it's looking. That's the look that you're wanting, right there. 
And if we had smell vision you'd be smelling some really good stuff right now. Okay, I've got it plated up. This is what it looks like, plated with the sauce on it. Don't know yet what it's gonna taste like, but smells really good. Now, now anyone who knows us knows how Frank is about me always showing him eating, but how is it, babe? Tell, tell. It's so good you can take pictures of my food. Oh my gosh, that's good, that's good. Yeah, it's pretty tasty, I, if I do say so myself. Hey everyone, thanks so much for joining me today, doing the chicken piccata. I really appreciate you coming in, coming by and watching. I hope it shows you something about how I am and how I prepare food. Anyway, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, the channel's growing and I'm, I'm, I'm very, very uh, pleased that it's growing as much as it is. So thanks for viewing it. Thanks for all you, you folks that are doing so much for me. I appreciate it. I like all the comments too. So anyway, thank you for joining us. Stay tuned for my next video. I don't really know what it's gonna be yet, but Frank did tell me that we get to do a trip to Seattle, Washington, Portland, Oregon. There he is, we're gonna eat. See you next time.